Hello? 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 Let me go put some music on. Um, uh, music not working? You can hear? How's the audio levels? Is it good? Okay, there we go. I put some music on. Music's good. Audio's good. Can you hear me over the music? Am I yelling? Am I shouting? Yeah, you hear the music? Yeah, we did it! <laughs> we are officially online. Oh wait, 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 I gotta change it. I'm not um I'm not making a web comic. Um let me go change it. So right now I'm gonna be doing or I'm gonna work on the Ollie drawing. <laughs> I was kinda scared to kinda start up. Ollie <laughs> I was kind of scared to start up because I was worried that everything's gonna break apart on the last second. Because I know that seems to be a really big trend. Whenever someone starts up a stream, things tend to break. Slash Olivia drawing. Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm just going to toss that aside. I'm just gonna try this out and see how it works. Uh, let me move my mic around. Hopefully, in fact, let me mute myself while I move my mic. Thank you, Kelpie. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome to the channel, you completely new viewer that I do not know in at all. <sighs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Okay, let me go ahead and turn on my controller. And I'm just gonna go practice, see? Because I know there's one thing that happens. Uh, let me turn on the music on my side. It's a little loud in my ear. Let me see. I know it won't turn it down on your side, so. Completely <laughs> new. <laughs> Kelpie, can you give me a pog in the champ? I need a, a pog or a pog in the chat. No, I'm just kidding. I, I know you're busy. Don't 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 do the pogs. Let me make sure wait, let me check to make sure my tags are right. Okay. English, VTuber, drawing, art. Okay, Alan LaFell went live. Chill art stream. Okay, chill in chat. Pog in the chat. Yeah. Thank you. Just go go do your thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw a bit, but yeah, I was kind of like going back on it. I remember um, whenever I see a VTuber start up, I always see their thing somehow self-destruct. And I was always kind of nervous about that happening too. Whereas like my stuff starts to self-destruct at the last second. It's always those last second kind of, what to call disasters that happen. But I think that's what makes the uh, things kind of fun. Like when you look at like, <laughs> me too. When you look at like Hololive and Niji Sanji, like I'm gonna talk a lot about them because I I'm a big VTuber weeb, as the kids would say. I I enjoy the VTuber. But when I think when I see them, they always seem to have some sort of disaster happens. But but I think it's kinda of good luck. It's good fortune for them. I feel like a lot of good things happen when things blow up. Mm-hmm. There we go. So I'm just gonna go do a rough sketch to make sure it looks good before I start outlining. Mm -mm -mm. But how's the how's the stream? I know you're doing something, but can you check the stream to see like why did you choose Ollie? I chose Ollie because um she did a stream. Um how did the video look before I answer your question, random viewer that I never met before? Why like um how does the video look? Is it clear, concise? Just like my life. Heh. 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 Looks fine on my end? Okay. So I chose Ollie because um, I was watching Ollie's stream and Ollie did a stream where um, she showed Olivia, which was her alter ego. And I thought it was kind of cute because like they, when she showed Olivia, she did it like last time before, but when she showed Olivia this time, she had a whole live 2D rig for her. So yeah, I think it was kind of cute. Like for those who don't know what Olivia is, oh, for those who don't know who Olivia is, Olivia is the, the alive version of, of Ollie. Like if Ollie never died, that's Olivia. And I, I have it here on the other side. Like if I switch my thing, nope, there we go. That's... Olivia, isn't she cute? Look at her in her dress. The gothic Lolita look, as the kids call it. Mm -mm. 
I did another drawing too with Ollie. <laughs> it was based off her uh, Twitter post. On Twitter, she she made a post where it showed her with huge badonga donks. <laughs> so like, I made a drawing based on that. It was actually really cute. I'm gonna do that next. After I finish this one, I'm gonna do that one next. I really like Ollie's design. I think Ollie's design is really, really well made from the eyes to the stitches to her hair. Like everything just works really well with Ollie's design. Mm -hmm. I think the arms look good though. I'm always weak in the arm area. Like her hair the most. I think it looks nice, and I, I never realized how similar it looked to Bay's hair. Like Bay's hair was very, very similar with the red and the white. But I think they're both cute. Mm -mm. I wish to be. I wish to aspire to be as cute as Bay and Ollie. I want to be the cutest. See, I gotta pull up a reference shot of Ollie to make sure I have all her intricacies. I noticed that VTubers tend to have a lot of, um, what's it called? A lot of accessories on them. Let me go pull this up. Ollie. Olive. Crazy Ollie. I'm gonna start with the undead version because that one actually has a full image on it. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. Let me close that. You almost saw something embarrassing. How's it Kashi? Okay, give me a second. I'm looking for a, a good shot of Ollie. Crazy Ollie. Let's see. Alright. Let's play Apex Lot together. Okay. Funny enough though, despite um, me enjoying Ollie, I never get a chance to watch a lot of her streams due to the fact that she often streams like in the dead of night, which makes sense. She's like overseas and usually people during that time streams, is Ollie your favorite? No, 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 no. My favorite is Ina, I Ina, Ina, Ina. I enjoy me Ina. I think Ina is sweet and say so, and I aspire to be as good of an artist as she is. Maybe one day I could be as good as Ollie. Or no, not Ollie, Ina. Go. Ollie has like this two eye color thing going on too. Heterochromia, I believe it's called. Heter heterochromia. Hmm. I want to make a character like this, one with two eye colors. I think the two eye colors really make a character stand out, make them look cute. There we go. Speaking of Ollie, I saw her playing Apex Legends and like I don't care for Apex Legends myself personally. Like I see it being a fun game and my friends try to get me into Apex Legends too. Like I know it's like a free to play game and everything, but I know my friends tried to get me into it and I know I couldn't get into it before because the the playstyle of my friends was like a turtle, right? So we often like we would go grab all the gear, but we always stay in the shadows. We always hide from sight and we would always like, you know, kind of make sure that we don't get seen by anybody. And we waited out until like the very close to the end of the match. At the very end of the match, that's when we're forced to confront something. But most of the time we just die. <laughs> like we would spend 30 minutes. I don't know how long a match is. I don't think a match lands 30 minutes, but I, I, we would spend like a good amount of time just hiding in a little building, right? 
we would be all pointing at different doors and you know that's a very viable play strategy like you can definitely get to the end of a game that way but i feel like when you do something like that it's not as fun it's uh it's a little bit like it kind of soiled the taste of apex legends for me because you have all these cool characters with these abilities and you could do all kinds of movement tech like running around and sliding all that stuff and it, it's kind of a waste when we kind of just hide the whole time but after seeing like um some of the nichi sanji and holy live paper hollow live players play it kind of makes you um it kind of makes me want to play it too again like i'm not much of a big shooter fan but it does look pretty fun and i saw that it's on mobile too so ooh, <laughs> playing a shooting game with mobile controls that sounds like a pain you want to move around a lot yes because i'm a very hyperactive little sheep i'm all about the movement as you can see i i, I move a lot my body is moving Wait, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> I'm realizing this isn't the way to chat. I might have to do something about that. I'll have to clean that up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to give you applause. Oh, oh, I should make a clapping little thing. Yeah. I think it's really nice to have like a PNG tuber. Like even though I'm not a, a live 2D tuber, like I can't, um, you know, I can't record myself. <laughs> I can't like be bobbing and weaving and you can't see me like my eye tracking and all that stuff. So you can't tell where I'm looking. I think the fun part about being a PNG tuber is the fact that I can make my own upgrades. Like, like I can add things as I see fit. So I could add more signs. I could add more D's. I could just like bind it to every single keyboard. And the fun part too is like I have it all bound to like a different key if I make enough like uh, faces I can make it so whenever I type a word everything contorts so it's just like continually changing every time like so it's like I'll type being I'll be typing the word hello and it'll be like that I think it'll be fun I think that'll be my goal life goals okay Oh wait, where am I? Hmm. <sighs> I forgot to grab a towel that's wet. Like, my area is super duper hot. Like, it's been really, really hot with this big heat wave recently. And I learned a secret technique, right? There's a secret technique I learned of recently that really, really helps. So, I'm gonna pass it on to you guys. I'm gonna pass it on to you guys. So get this, get this, get this. So, in fact, let me draw it out. Let me draw it out. Let me go make a new file really quick. And explain to you so like in my area like right now outside it's like over the hundreds maybe even the 200s maybe right so the heat is incredibly hot but get this i learned this secret technique so if you take a wet towel right and you put it on the back of your neck right it actually does cool you down and I was kind of worried because I was like that's gross because it's gonna be dripping all over my body but no 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 it actually works really well especially if you uh if you wring it beforehand the wetness won't like drip down I was gonna grab one right before I streamed but I'm looking around and I think I forgot it oh. yeah I can't find it right now oh well it <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be dying. It's like 80, 88 in the house. If I if I get a if I get a heat stroke, you guys know why. I want you guys to avenge me. I want you to like, subscribe, and end. There we go. I like he, like the hair that Ollie has here. It's like a disheveled he may cut in a way. I 
it's very, very cute. Wait a second. I never realized this. Is this a... Is that what... What do they call those things on the soda can? The... The thing that you use to open the soda can. The, the thing that goes pop. The soda... The soda lip? The soda... Mm, I forgot what it's called. I'll look it up later. But why does she have it as an earring? Or maybe it's a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> I like my idols the same way I like my pants zipped up. Okay, add stitches. This yeah, there's there has to be a name for it. I don't think it's just called soda top can thingy. she'll look cuter if I give her a flesh fang. I wonder if Ollie would appreciate a flesh fang. Let me see. I'm gonna try it. Let me, let me try it. Yeah! There we go! <laughs> That's cuter. That's 100% cuter. Maybe I could give her two flesh fangs since she has like little fangs. Mmm... That's okay. I'll come back to it. Let me see, what if I give her flesh fangs and regular teeth? Like a combination? I'll come back to it. It, it looks cute, but I'll come back to it. That's an idea, though. I'll leave it in there, though. Maybe I'll grow to love the flesh fangs. It's cute, but it doesn't fit. That's the thing with our. Oftentimes, you have to... You have to remember if things fit together and how they fit together. Draw two giant meatballs for Ollie's hair. Are flesh fangs teeth? I mean, if you pull on them. I imagine that when it comes to flesh fangs, like, it's one of those things, like, if a person has a flesh fang, like, say they have a flesh fang, like, like this person has a flesh fang, right? I imagine that if you, you know, kind of grab it with your hand, like so, <laughs> and you pull it back, it stretches. I mean, that's the thing too, is like when you think about it, they're, they're flesh fangs, right? They're not necessarily real teeth. <laughs> it's like one of those things where you, uh, when you have like a piece of skin that's like peeling off your hand or your thumb or your finger, and then like you, you touch it, but then like you try to peel it. Like have you guys, or has anyone ever had that happen before? Like if you had, like say this is your finger, right? And here's the little peel, right? Like. I forgot what they call those. There was like a specific name for it, and I couldn't believe that was a thing, right? But then like, imagine that you grab that, right? And then like, you try to pull it off, you're like, okay, this is hurting, this is painful, and you pull it off. <laughs> then before you know it, you pull off a larger chunk of skin, like a banana peel. <laughs> Here's my secret for that, right? Whenever I have something like that, like here's my little secret. Okay? It bothers me and it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. I understand the pain of it. The, the pain is painful. But... Here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's my little secret to it, right? If you ever have a situation like that, just take it to your teeth, right? Take it to your teeth and bite it off. 
right? If you bite it off, it kind of trims it. That way it's not so much of a bother. And it also makes it so that you don't peel away your skin. Like, that's the big secret. I do it all the time, right? Because it, it happens so many times, like, I don't know what causes it. I don't know if it's because my skin is just peeling or if I'm just physically dying. <laughs> but if you just take a bite out of it, it actually works really well. Just don't swallow it because, you know, that's cannibalism. Auto cannibalism. I was watching a video about that. Not not cannibalism itself, but auto cannibalism. It was interesting. Did you guys realize that technically our body like consumes so much of ourselves each year? I think that's what they call auto cannibalism. Like whether it's from dead skin cells to like flakes of our hair to hair itself to fingernails. I mean, I don't eat my own fingernails, but somebody out there probably does. Not judging. I mean, more respect to you that you can eat it. If you think about it, it's kind of like recycling, though. Waste not. Okay. No. <laughs> That all these uh, stitches makes her feel more like a Frankenstein in ways. We put like the gears on her neck. That definitely will make it more. What's it called? Like a Frankenstein. Okay. She has this really nice gothic Lolita look going on with her. she ever ate brains? Zombie brains? <clears throat> I don't know, I'm looking back at it. The flesh fangs, I don't think I like it. I feel like she needs her regular fangs. It's not Ollie with a flesh fang. It's just Ollie. There we go. Now balance is returned. Doesn't mean I don't like flesh fangs. I'm a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty ad big advocate for flesh fangs. I personally like drawing my character or some characters with flesh fangs. Not my character specifically, like Aine and Remu. Speaking of which, you can check it out. The the web comic off task, winky face. Oh, I need a wink. Oh, okay. I'll just put a panic face instead. There we go. Or actually, no, I don't have that. Never mind. Actually, let me write this down. I'm gonna write down things that I gotta, I'm gonna make to upgrade my my face rig. So I want to add a winky face, and I want to make a clapping. There we go. Very handy to be able to make your own assets. And if you guys have any ideas for uh, faces that I could add, I don't mind hearing them. That way, that way I could have a collection of faces. <laughs> but watch, I could make a million faces and then I'm gonna just use the standard one the whole time. I noticed that with a lot of VTubers, they often, uh, they often tend to kind of go to their default face. They don't really, I mean like, not to knock on anybody or anything. I can make sense of it because it's kind of hard to switch, like, um, switch on the fly, you know? You gotta, you had to have things like set up in a certain way. I mean, I kind of like it, but I think it's kind of fun. It's like, when you have like a straight face like this and you could be talking about the darkest thing. Now speaking of dark things though, <laughs> Speaking of dark things, 
I was thinking about, like, it may be a little bit early to think about it, but I was thinking about Halloween and imagining being streaming during Halloween. Because I'll be honest, spooky games are not my thing, but I think they'll be fun to play on stream for the content. The content! He said the C word, the content. Yes, the content. I think it'll be pretty fun to play spooky games on stream. I don't like playing them on my own. Like, I start getting a heart attack. I do want to get one of those, like, heart centers, though. I've seen it on um, other channels. Where it's like, when they're playing a spooky game, you can see their heart rates. But I'm kind of scared <laughs> that it's going to show that I'm physically dying <laughs> whenever I play something scary. I can't think of the last- no, I, I think I know what the last game, scary game when I played. Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame 2. I remember that, that game would scare the bejeebers out of me. It was a fun game though, Neo. I always thought it was really neat to have that kind of camera mechanics with a spooky game because it forces you to go in first person. And because it the game forces you to go in first person, it forces you to kind of get jump scared because like you see the ghost running towards you or something like that. It's a very well designed game. I think it came out on the Wii U as well, if I'm correctly. Not Fatal Frame 2, but like the latest of the Fatal Frames. Which is kind of a shame when you think about it because like um, the Wii U itself had so much potential as a console. It was funny because like people were thinking like, oh yeah, this would be great with Pokemon Snap. But Pokemon Snap never came out for it. Instead it came out on the Switch. I wonder how that game was though. I never had a chance to play Pokemon Snap. Oh, is it Pokemon Snap too? Or is it just Pokemon Snap? Like is it one of those rebooted games? Pokemon Snap Resurrection? Pokemon Snap Reincarnation? Pokemon Snap. Um. Revenge? Yeah, there we go. Pokemon Snack. 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 <laughs> Pokemon Snack. It was a little awkward stage, but it was fun. Yeah, the thing was, like, I'm not gonna lie. I got a Wii U, and I did have a lot of fun with it, especially when Splatoon came out with it, and then you had a chance to play, like, um. I forgot what games I really had on it, but the games I did have on it were really fun. Granted, they kind of ported to the Switch still. Right? They still brought it to the Switch, all those games, like, um, Splatoon 2 was like a response to that, and Super Mario Deluxe, and Mario Kart, and, like, all the games that were on the Wii U essentially came back to the Switch. I think they just did a really poor job, job with marketing there. Like, when you call it the Wii U, it does sound like an upgrade to the Wii. But I was able to play on the go because you could just bring the console itself and just like connect with it with the console. So it was like a it was like a giant portable, honestly. Like if you go into a hotel room and then you bring your Wii U, you don't really need to connect it to the TV. Though I do know like TVs nowadays at hotel rooms have a HDMI port, which really really surprised me because back then when I was a kid, or when I was yeah when I was a kid like a little sheep, <laughs> before I became a sheeple. Back when I was a little sheep, like whenever we went to hotel rooms, the back of the TV would always have like this locking mechanism, right? So it's like, like back then TVs used to have like, um, like ports. So you like have the power cord that goes here, right? Then you would have the video, the audio and that stuff, the RGB things. And then like, that's where all your consoles connect, right? So you would connect that onto there. But a lot of hotels back then used to have this like block. <laughs> that covered the whole thing up, right? <laughs> and it was to make sure that you don't disconnect things to it. And those channels, like the TVs only had like 12 channels on it. It was like, I don't know if it was local, but it used to be TNT, TBS, um, Fox, the Weather Channel, something else, but... But you could never find anything good on TV and you couldn't like connect your like video games to it. Back when I was a kid, like, we had a little TV to kind of carry around. So, 
It was like this really, really small TV. Like it was a handheld one. In fact, it even had a handle that way you could carry it around. And while it was small and dinky, I guess back in the days, don't make me sound old. <laughs> like while it was small and dinky, it worked well. Like I remember I used to play um, Breath of Fire 4 on it. And it was pretty good too because like, um, <laughs> I remember that Okay, so this is going to be a interesting story. So back when I was a kid, we went on a lot of field trips. Well, I wouldn't even say field trips, road trips in a way. Let me erase this flesh fang and finger monstrosity. Get out of my face. Be gone. Okay. So back when I was a kid, uh, we used to take road trips a lot and we would often go into the van, right? We had a minivan was my brother sheep, my mama sheep, and my papa sheep. We would all, we would all be in here and we'd be on a long trip, right? And the thing is, this is back before we had iPads and iPhones. Oh boy, saying that makes me eat, feel really old. All right, I am canonically a thousand years old, guys. Look at me, look me in the eyes. I'm canonically one thousand years old. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> going back to the story, so we often had long trips. I think it was like two, three hour drive and we had, uh, we had a Game Boy, but oftentimes like we, you know, being kids, we, our attention is short, right? So we play a Game Boy game, we get tired of it, right? And sometimes, you know, you just got a Game Boy and you got a game that you played before and you don't really feel like playing it again, right? So, oh, one second. Sorry, I bumped into my mic, so I had to adjust it again. <laughs> so, so in this car, we um, we had it upgraded where it had like an outlet right here, like a plug, right? Like a little plug. And it had like a, we also had like a little TV that's attached to the thing right here. So back when I was a kid, one of my fondest memory was we were on a road trip and I was playing the PlayStation 1, right? And for those who don't know what the PlayStation 1 was, like there used to be a PlayStation original, I guess that's what you would call it. It was like pretty big and bulky, right? Imagine the size of consoles today, right? They're pretty, pretty, pretty big. A PlayStation one was literally half the size of it. It was like a little baby compared to it. And it was really cool because technically it could play games just as well as the big PlayStation. Like it was so cool. And I kind of missed that when they used to make like really small versions of consoles because man, I swear consoles take up so much space these days. I'm glad the Switch doesn't take up as much space as the PS4. I mean, you stand them up, but still. But going back to it, so here I am playing Breath of Fire 4. It's hooked up onto the car little TV, right? And like, I'm a little tyke right here playing, right? And then during road trips, you know how we have to stop and get gas, right? <laughs> so during this road trip, I happen to make it to the final boss of Breath of Fire 4. And like, I knew like being on this road trip several times, I knew we were getting close to a gas station. I could feel it. I could feel it in my little, like my little sheep horns, right? My ram horns. I could feel it in my little hoge. My little thing was tingling, right? It was all tingly wiggly. And I like, I managed to beat the, f or get to the final boss. And I was trying to beat the final boss as fast as possible. And let me tell you, the reason why this was my fondest memory was because I managed to like barely beat the final boss, like all my party members were dead <laughs> and I was left to my last hit. I managed to see the credits of the game the moment the car um, had to turn off because once the, since this thing was connected to the car and the car battery, it would turn off the, like the moment the car turns off, it would actually turn off the, the power source as well, causing everything else to turn off. So that was my one of my fondest memory on that road trip. And it made me love that game so much more. Like I really love Breath of Fire 4. It's just a real big shame that they never brought back Breath of Fire series. Does anybody else like them Breath of Fires? Breath of Fire 1, Breath of Fire 2, Breath of Fire 3. Breath of Fire 4, 
Breath of Fire Dragon's Quarter, Breath of Fire Mobile, which is Breath of Fire 5, Breath of Fire 1 on the Game Boy, Breath of Fire 2 on the Game Boy, got me into the Breath of Fire series though. Once I beat in Breath of Fire 4 and played it, I got Breath of Fire 1 and 2. And I thought they were really unique games. Breath of the Wild? No! <laughs> Different game. It's not even a Zelda game. Is that hair pomfy enough? Breath of Fire was like this RPG turn-based game. You don't see a lot of them. Do you actually? I was about to say, you don't see a lot of them today. But when I think about it, Gust makes literally only turn-based RPGs. Like if you look at all the Atelier series, they're all just turn-based RPGs. I mean, they're fun. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I love them. I personally haven't had a chance to kind of play them though recently. I've been so busy. As some of you may know, I'm not only just a, a VTuber, a V sheep, a sheeple, I'm also a comic artist. So I gotta get some bot commands to make sure that like whenever somebody types in um, exclamation comic, it would pop up with the bot. I have to be sure to set that up. Wait, let me write that down. Let me write that down. I think the fun part about having a test stream is that I can think of all the things I still need to set up. Let's see. What was it called? A bot. I do want to set up a bot for the future. That way, like, um, when I do, um, request nights, I could have it so the bot takes over, like, keeping track of requests because I know I'm not going to have, um, be able to keep track of it all. Over. There we go. It's looking a little big. Ollie Big Head. Big Head. Where have I heard that name before? Mr. Big Head and Mrs. Big Head. Oh, Rockles Modern Life. That's what it was. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a that's a name for nostalgia. Do I do I have any boomers in here? Do I have any millennials? Do I have any uh, Gen Xers or um, Gen Alpha? I, I'm losing track of what these ones are. Can I have my boomer say a what what on the chat? There we go. I wonder if her meatballs are the right size. Let me see. Let me do it to scale. I think it will be a little bigger. Maybe a little bit bigger of a meatball. There we go. Millie? You're Millie as in like Millie from Niji Sanji? Or are you Millie as in Millie um, Millennial? <laughs> about the hands. I've never been really really good on hands myself. I've been practicing them a bit but for those who have seen my comic you you'll realize that hand is probably one of my weakest points. But then again who is actually good in hands? If you're good in hands raise your hand and chat. That way I could tell you that you're a liar. <laughs> no 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 I'm just kidding. I know hands are pretty um what's it called important. I was actually watching a video by Naoki, um, Naoki Sakamoto? I forgot what her, his name was. He's the one that did a lot of art for Pokemon cards. Let me see. I forgot what his name was. Naoki... Naoki... Naoki Saito. That's what it was. Naoki Saito. Like, um, he was talking about IXY's art, or Ixie's art. And I found it really, really interesting because he pointed out how oftentimes the art of IXY's, I'll call it Ixie, Ixie's art would often focus on like a very simple like pose, right? 
and he talked about how it was really hard to be expressive with such a pose. It was really hard to show a lot of emotion expression, but he mentioned how a lot of emotion expression gets shown through the hands. And I never really thought about it, honestly, but then like when I look back at all of Ixie's art, it really made sense because a lot of his art would always have such unique hand poses. I would pull it up and show it on Twitter, but I do know Ixies do some <clears throat> not safe for work art, so <laughs> I don't want to, you know, get banned. First day stream, getting banned. Let's go! <laughs> this is a now any percent banned speed run. It reminded me actually when I got banned from RuneScape. <laughs> yes, I have played RuneScape. I have lived for a thousand years after all. You know what? I'm gonna double that. I have lived for two thousand years, friends. I'm very, very old. And I'm about as old as RuneScape itself. But I got banned in there. I, I think it had to do something with, um, because like, back when I was a kid, like, um, I couldn't get membership for, um, RuneScape, and I wanted to get membership, but the thing was, like, the idea of paying a monthly cost would never go well with parents when you think about it, right? It's like, the idea is like, $5 a month to play a game? Why can't you just play this other game, right? That's a very, that was a very common thought, right? Nowadays, it's so ordinary, it's like, okay, Final Fantasy XIV has a subscription pay, World of Warcraft has subscription pay, PSN Online has subscription pay. So it's a lot more widely accepted back now, but I know back then my parents didn't like the idea of paying $5 a month for a RuneScape. So I was talking to a friend and they said like, oh, I could get you membership, right? Because I guess his mom would allow it. I'm not too sure how he managed to convince his mom to pay for somebody else's membership. But he, his deal was that he wanted me to play his mine or not Minecraft, his RuneScape account and train it, right? And he wants me to do quests and basically boost it. So basically we were multi-accounting his, uh, his account. And I would do that, like, you know, I was playing his account and stuff. But there was a time that I actually had no access to a computer and I could not play it anymore. And I think this was right after, um, because like I met him in one of the classes. In, like like I think it was middle school long ago and we like we end up being in different classrooms So I wasn't able to communicate with him at all. I don't think I ever seen him after that actually <laughs> So like he was technically still had like my account on his pay Like his mom is still paying for my account and I was still playing his account, right? But one day my account just got banned So I imagine maybe the mom realized what happened where she was paying for two accounts <laughs> or something like that Man, I was a terrible kid. <laughs> I just wanted to play online RuneScape, Mom. I just wanted to see what's like to play on the membership area. the details of the ruin dressed. Okay. I never noticed this, but Ollie sh shows a lot of leg. It's really stitched together, but... <laughs> but that's a lot of leg. Ollie bye. More like Ollie goodbye. Bazinga. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Get a drink of water. Sip my sippy sippy. Let me tell you how hot it is in my area. So, oftentimes I would get um, water. Like I would put it in a cup. I would put a lot of ice in it. Right. <laughs> By the time I would get to my room with the like my ice and water in hand, right, to go on my computer and start drawing. By the time I get here, oftentimes the ice would have already melted. 
It's just that hot. I'm melting. You heard it here, guys. This will be my first and last dream. I am physically burning alive. You feel me? Give me a... If you're feeling hot in the chat, give me a pog champ. An illegal pog champ. Oh, one second. My phone is doing something weird. What do you want, phone? Okay, that's strange. Okay. Let me get back to it. Where'd my pen go? Ah! Uh, <laughs> where'd my pen go? Ooh. There it is. Okay. I never really like when it came to weather I always thought I was like really really resilient to the heat I was always thinking like um like oh man the, the hot weather is great and all or not great and all but like cold weather I could never stand right like I know um I think it goes dating back to when I was back in uh, when I was a kid right whenever uh, we went to school it was often in the morning right and usually in the morning the weather is always freezing, like chilling freezing. So oftentimes I'd be like, like shivering because we, in order for us to get into our classroom, we had to wait for the bell to ring and to wait, we had to wait outside in the blistering cold because it's like six or seven in the morning. And I kept telling myself like, oh, I'm so resilient to the heat that the cold is the one that I'm weak to. If I was a Pokemon, I'd be weak to ice type and strong against fire types. But this summer has proven me wrong. It's been so ridiculously hot. Like, I think I'm gonna- I enjoy the cold more than the heat at this point. I think the fun thing about being cold too is like, oftentimes, your solution to being cold is just put on more clothes. <laughs> when you have a you have like a heat wave like this or when your weather is breaking the double digits into the triple digits you can't really just like take off clothes you know like you never know when somebody's gonna come by like a friend or maybe the mailman right you never know when somebody's just gonna pop in maybe through the window they'll be like hey oogity boogity it's time for me to see everything I never understood people who could walk around naked in their house. Much less in just underwear. There we go. It's a cute curtsy. Does your ribbon have like frills on it? It does. Oh, we're already one hour in. I'm still on the draft. Alright, I gotta focus. I gotta get things done. Time is of an essence. I am a short, short time sheep. Super cute. No, you're super cute. Hit. Got him. Okay. One, two, three. So... Speaking of being super cute, I was thinking about my stream. I was thinking about making a debut video, right? I had like some fun ideas for a debut video. But I was wondering about it. I was thinking about it like, should I do a debut video or not? 
because I see a lot of other VTubers do it, but I kind of want to just jump in and start getting with the content. I just want to start creating haha -ha funny content memes. I want to be turned into a meme. I think I would know I was successful if you guys are using me as a meme. Like the top text, bottom text meme. like to be stitched up like this I remember seeing like stories of like um, people who get like their arm or leg cut off right and I thought about it and I was like thinking about like if you get your arm cut off they always say put it in the freezer right put it in some ice let it um let it like freeze or something like that that way you could attach it back together and I thought about it and I was wondering like would that really work like like if you take like two pieces of an arm right and then you just like stitch it together. Would the body actually naturally regrow itself? Like would it reattach? Sort of like how Ollie is here. I need some scientists in the chat. I need some science sheeps. Oh, that's pretty good. Science sheeps. Science sheeps. I like that. I gotta I gotta write that down. Science sheeps. If it's a clean cut, but then that that begs the question, like. Like, we are crazy superhuman when you think about it. What can we, like, um, what can happen to us that we can't survive? Okay, maybe that's a dumb question. <laughs> I think there's a lot of things that could happen to us. We're actually really fragile. But I'm talking about, like, a regenerative, right? Like, when you think about it, if we can, like, attach an arm like this with just a bunch of strings, what, what, what else can we attach? Can I put like, can I take somebody else's arm and attach it to myself? Can we just become one? It'll be just like one of my Yandere animes. It'll be like school days. I love school days. Looking at this reference to make sure everything looks good. It may not look like I'm not doing something, but I'm actually looking at references. In fact, maybe it'll be good if I put the reference together. That way it doesn't look like it doesn't look like I'm just staring off into space. No thoughts, only empty thoughts. Okay, we'll put Ollie right next to it. I'd be studying the way of this drawing. You may have a job, but I have been studying the way of art. Or what was that mean? Or something like that. Let's save image. Okay. Don't look at my my file names. Hazakashi. Don't look. Nope, that's not it. Where did it go? I thought I saved it. Let me try it again. Oh! What? Hmm. Okay. Save image. Why is it saving? Uh, okay, whatever. I guess you guys don't get to see. <laughs> I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just, I'm just, files don't pop up. We can only see your drawings. Okay, good. I don't want you to see all my embarrassing file names. Like, <laughs> and <laughs> I can't be the only one that pounds my keyboard whenever whenever I need to come up with a file name. Need a file name quick? Slam. Take that. 
No, don't hurt me. Let me turn off the bottom layer and the bottom teeth. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. Okay. Then I'll use that. I'll copy. I'll use this framework to help clean up the Olivia one. But I'm going to start inking this one. <laughs> I feel like a slow drawer. <laughs> I'm thinking about time, and I'm looking at the time, it's almost been one hour. I've been streaming for one hour. Yay, one hour! Wow, wait, 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 wait. There we go. <laughs> but I'm wondering if I can, like, how long it takes for me to do a drawing. Clap. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't make that sign for nothing. That sign's gonna come really in handy, that's for sure. Once I start doing collabs and stuff, actually I'm kinda curious if they'll show up. Like I wanna I wanna use that sign for whenever whenever I'm doing a collab or something. Whenever I make a funny joke. In fact, let me tell you guys my world famous joke. Everybody loves my world famous joke. <clears throat> so, once upon a time, there was a boy in kindergarten, right? This boy, he he ended up looking up in a dictionary, right? He, he's in kindergarten, he, he barely knows how to read, right? But he was looking through this book, this dictionary, and he found a word he never seen before. Don't look at me with that face, Kelpie. <laughs> Don't act like you heard this joke before. <laughs> I won't I won't let you suffer through that. I'll wait till there's more people. When there's enough people, like once we hit like five viewers, I'm going to tell my world famous joke. Then when we hit ten viewers, I'm gonna hit my tell them my world famous joke. We're gonna do it like in increments of five. No please? You mean yes please? Everybody loves my world famous joke. It's great. Which is funny because it's not even my joke. I forgot where I heard it from, but I just, you know, steal like an artist. If you ever want to be successful, if you ever want to make something cool, if you ever want to tell a funny joke or a good story or something interesting, you gotta steal it. Steal like an artist. Wait, wait, do I have my gun? Where's my gun? Oh, I didn't get the gun ready. I guess I, I spare you guys today. No gun today. I don't have a gun today. All right, I got to write that down. Get gun ready. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's not going to end like this. I have an idea. I'm going to... This is going to be a, like a five minute break. Imagine or just pretend like I'm stretching my hands right now, right? I'm doing a quick five minute break. Okay. Wait, that's not the place. Um, remember, it's very important to take breaks. You got to make sure, especially when you're going like one hour and you keep on drawing and doing other stuff, you got to make sure you take your little, like your little um, wrist breaks or else you're going to, your wrists are going to fall off. You'll get carpal tunnel, things like that. Okay, let me see if I could find this. So I'm taking a little wrist break. How's how's your guys' day? How is chat today? I want to hear from you guys. How was your wonderful day? Look look me in the eye. How was your day? <laughs> Dang it. I was trying to look for a gun. This will have to do. Okay. 
<laughs> I was trying to look for a gun prop while I was talking. You're good, that's good. Because you won't be good anymore. When I pulled this out... Haha! -ha! Ooh, ooh. Chat's a little slow. I typed, but respond six times. Don't worry. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe I should have cleaned this one up. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let me go. Um, <laughs> you guys didn't see that. Let me go. Actually. <clears throat> I'll, I'll take a little. Let me go put it onto a load screen really quick. D don't worry. Nothing's happening. I I'm not doing anything. You know. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. -ness. Your bye. -ness. That's pretty good. Okay. Like okay, that. Alright, save. It's a JPEG? Oh, what kind of person makes JPEGs? Okay, let's try it. Gun. Save. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Took a little uh, breather. You know, it's very important to take a breather. But breathe on this, punk! There we go. Heck yeah! <laughs> How do I rotate this thing? Hmm. You know what? It's gonna be like that. It just had to be like that. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. <laughs> Is that a blow dryer? I think? I don't know what it was. I was looking up an image for a gun in the clip art place I go to, and I saw this. So... Yeah. When I looked up gun, this is what came up. This is this is a hold up. You're gonna give me your super chats right now. I want you to donate all your money to me. Can I get a ten dollar super chat? I'm waiting for someone to say obligatory. That's not a. This is not YouTube. I'm gonna try to stream on YouTube tomorrow though. Like for those who are listening, like I wanna try YouTube as well and see how that works. I just wanna see the difference between the two the two things. Has anyone in chat ever done YouTube streaming? Your experience. I want to learn. There we go. Looking at all these eyes kind of makes me regret not adding anything to my character's eyes. Like if you look at like if you look into my face right now, right, right, you can see in my face there's nothing in there except when like scared and panicked. Like when I'm scared and panicked, like my eyes get nervous, right? But other than that, there's usually nothing in there. It's kind of sad though because like I was thinking about adding something into it, but I thought about it and it was like the reason I left it white. Because it was to show how dead I was inside. <laughs> yeah. There's a backstory for everything. There's a story for everything. For every little finicky thing I do. Do you feel that? Oosh. Wah, ah, ah, ah. Wah, ah, ah, ah. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. I'm not singing the rest of it. I do want to learn how to sing. I think that's going to be one of my goals. When I do properly debut with a live 2D model, I want to set one of my goals to be able to sing. I guess that means I have to start practicing. What? Uh, uh, uh. 
get up, come on, get down with the sickness. They mutter, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You, I can't say it. I'm, I'm too say so to say it. I'm not gonna say the F word. Tehe. <laughs> Let me look at the time. I'm gonna do... A, I'm gonna draw for a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna do some stress tests on some games. So I'll just jump between games and such. I wanted to try out my uh, console games and I wanted to try out doing games on the computer. Again, I'm kind of enjoy just drawing. It's kind of chill. Just being able to draw and talk. I don't do that very often. I'm a very lonely person. I'm a very lonely sheep. Did you know that sheeps die if they're too alone? That's me. Oh no, I can feel it. I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> Don't look away from me, Kelpie. Oh, that could be another thing, too. I can make a gravestone. <laughs> there we go. Gravestone idea. There we go. Have a little bit of everything. Love is hurting my hand. There we go. I feel like her hair is a little bit longer here, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna make it go all the way down to her eyelash, but I don't want to cover her beautiful eyes. You gotta find yourself someone like Ollie. Someone willing to scream into the mic and blow your eardrums out. Actually, it's starting to get really hot in my room. Luckily the sun's going down. One second. I'm gonna go open my window. And let in the bugs. <laughs> okay, I'm back. There's like this beeping going on outside my window. <laughs> I'm not sure why. At first, I thought it was something dangerous, but it just keeps going. I just left it alone at this point. If I die, just remember my legacy as a VTuber. Remember me as I lived. Sheepish. breath sound smells like. I imagine if you're a zombie and you eat skin, flesh, brains, and all that stuff, would your breath smell good? 
Well, then again, Ollie doesn't seem like the type that would eat brains. But, if your mouth is rotten and your teeth are falling out, I mean, you know, not going to fall out or anything, but if your mouth is rotten, wouldn't it smell bad? This elevator music is nice. It is. It's really relaxing. And I like how it loops well. There's something about inking that's very methodical. Like, out of all the processes, it's not my, f like, it's not like the process I'm really good at, but it is very, like, relaxing. And I think it's because I could turn my brain off. Any art tips you want to share? One art tip I would like to share is never give up. <laughs> you gotta keep on going. You gotta work hard. Like, uh, when it comes to art, it's a slow burn. And I know there's a lot of places that you may want to give up at. And there's a lot of things that, you know, might dissuade you from drawing. Whether you think that, like, oh no, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. But, here's the secret. Here's the secret about all artists. About 80% of artists don't know what they're doing. And I just made that number up, but yes, I do feel that's the case. When you think about it, 80% of um, what you draw comes from 20% of the skill that you know. So even though you may read a book and all that stuff, a lot of times, you know, oftentimes you tend to not be able to apply said skill. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. You just got to keep on going. You got to keep trying. You got to do your best. I believe in you. You're feeling that now? You're feeling that now? Oh, Kelpie. It's okay. Here. I, I will give you... Um... Oh, I don't have anything. Okay, there you go. I'm giving you applause, please. <laughs> there you go. I am rooting for you. Look at my arms as I root for you. Yay! Yay! You can do it! Yay! Yay! You can go! Yay! Yay! You may know! Yay, yay, from foot to toe. Hey, hey, hey. Tambourine club. That applause kills me. <laughs> I can't wait until I make the one where I'm clapping. <laughs> I'm gonna make one where I clap. I still have my gun, too. There we go. I'm just gonna put this gun aside. We don't need this anymore. Oh, where's my mouse? There you go. We don't need this gun anymore. I need my controller back. Oh, oh, what if I made, like, little cheerleader pom-poms, too? Yeah! Heck yeah! Pom-poms, man! I could be the cutest cheerleader, guys. Let's see. I said I was gonna, like, stream or try to practice some games. Try testing out some games at 8 7 or 8.15. go ahead and try it out. Alright, I'll have to save this. Okay. I think it's time to test out some games. I want to play some games to make sure my capture card works correctly. And I want you guys to tell me if I drop frames. In fact, let me check my stats. I want to make sure I'm not dropping any frames or anything. View stats. Let's see. Okay, that's not so bad. I have dropped 0.0% frames. Okay. That's not bad. This is a really nice computer. Alright, let me go save this. 
Maybe I'll come back and finish this drawing towards the end of the stream, come back to it. But I do want to test out the game part. <laughs> okay, so give me a second. I'm going to switch over to the loading screen. Okay. In fact, let me go back to the mute screen. So I'll be right back. I'm going to put some the loading, loading screen and I'm going to go set up a game. Hello. Let me see. Checking audio levels. They all looks like it's working. Okay. So this is my gaming setup. Gamers. Heck yeah. Does it look nice? Oh, oh well, one second, one second. I forgot one more thing. Just my mic. I forgot. I'm still getting used to this. Mute pad loud. Okay, I'm gonna go turn it down. Alright, is this better? Or is it too low? This is a game that I really enjoyed. Um, let me go switch that in title of stream. Okay. Okay. So, better? Okay. Testing out games. Okay. Uh, we'll put this at games and demos because I'm gonna play a variety of different games to make sure it looks good. So, okay. Okay. Turn off these tags, switch it over. There we go. Stream data set correctly. So, I'll do a bit of games and I'll come back to art. So, this is a game that I actually personally enjoy myself. 
It's called um, a robot named Fight. Or, yeah, a robot named Fight. And it's a Metroidvania game. I'll just jump straight into it. Like, um, I barely remember how to play this, actually. Actually, I kind of want to play with a super large world that way. But, like, um, for those who, um, for those who played, uh, which mission is it? I think it was this one. Yeah, the extra mega map. The mega map. For those who play, like, Metroid games and Castlevania games, this is like a, it's basically a indie game based off that, where it's like you play as a robot, right? And it plays like a Metroid game, so it's like you shoot bullets and stuff like that. It's actually pretty fun. Actually, like when this first game first came out, I was playing a lot of it. Okay, thank you. Do I have any weapons? I forgot how to play this game though. Why is my character going? Hmm? What do I have actually? Got to play. <laughs> but I enjoy these kind of games. I think when I actually do debut, like I'll, I'll talk more about the games I enjoy playing. That way you guys know why I might be streaming. But honestly, I'm just gonna just stream a variety of games. I'll do a quick run. I don't know how long this run will be. I guess we'll go until I'm dead. But this game is very um, meaty. Which is kind of fun because I think it goes through the story lore. Like, um, I don't know. Oh, this door's locked. The, like, the lore of the story is that the humans have disappeared, but they're coming back with a vengeance and hu or robots taking over the world. So the humans want to take the world back, but the, the robots don't want to let them because they, they, got, they gain sentience. So now robots are off to destroy humans, which have created these meat, these meat enemies. It's gross looking, but that's part of the heal. Oh. See if I can hit that thing. It's not. Ah! No! No! Tail as old as time? Yes, humans are the true enemies. Are, there, are we the real monsters here? But how does the game look? Video good? Audio good? Ah! Oh, this is the end! I'm almost dead already. Oh no! Oh, whoa, whoa, he's invisible. Okay, I got him. Okay. I need that heart. I need those hearts. Okay. Got it. Alright, how do I get that? I need a speed booster. <laughs> can I farm these enemies for hearts? Yeah, I can. Oh, they don't kill me first. Hmm. Good? Okay, good. This won't be the only game I test out. I want to try out a 3D game too, to see. One thing I've always been worried about streaming is um, bitrate. Because I'm worried that the bitrate will like drop down for a lot of games. Okay. What? Oh, I'm fully healed. Okay, good. I got all my health back. The way to go. The thing about this game, it's uh, it's what they call a roguelike. And for those who don't know what a roguelike game is, it's basically randomly generated. So like all the maps um, are randomly generated with different setups. There you go. I'm still pretty good at this game though. I'm uh, I'm what they call a uh, pro gamer. <laughs> ah! This is what I like to call a pro gamer move. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I'll at least be beat the first boss. I think I'm gonna beat the first boss and I'll switch games. Just to try things out. If I don't die first, if I die first, then I guess that'll be the end of it. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm good. You. 
Actually, let me grab that health. I might. I'm gonna really need it. Where's the exit? Well, how this game works though, it's not like exit base. It's more like um, based on areas where. Well, well. The areas basically have. Um, it's like a big world. It like random, randomly generates a whole world. And on the default settings, you don't get to see all the different biomes. So like maybe this biome, I would see this run, but maybe next run I'll be in the city. Or maybe, uh, oh there's the boss fight. Maybe in the next run I'll be like in a different area. It's the squiggly scooch. The thing that vomits all over the place. Oh, forgot how this thing fights though. Does he just roar? Oh, he calls enemies. He, he poops. Okay. Okay. That's what I like to call a pro gamer move. Pooping on the floor like that. He's just pooping. Okay. Okay. Easy. Or not. Oh no, he has a form stage too. I forgot. <laughs> he becomes Ridley. Alright, alright. He's pooping still. He's pooping still. Can we take those. I gotta say, this game has really interesting characters. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, what's he doing? Enemy designs. <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm not as pro gamer as I thought. Okay, <laughs> let's exit all that. I'm going to switch games. Nobody saw that because nobody's here. Winky face. All right, I'm gonna try a 3D game now. I want to make sure this game works. Should I do this game or should I do the other game actually? Not far to me. You never played this game. <laughs> I know you, Kelpie. You never played this game before. Yeah, I think I'll play. I'll play this game. I love this game actually. Okay. I don't want you to see my home menu. It's it's messy, just like my desktop and my soul. Okay. I bet you could tell what it is the moment you hear the music though. Do you hear it? Do you feel it? That's right. It's a Zelda game. Here we go. <laughs> It's actually, um, it's a game that I wouldn't say is the most popular. I do know, like, um, it was popular for the time and that was because the way the story was portrayed. But honestly, this game is not as popular as it should be. This was a really fun game. It's Hyrule Warriors! I'll be honest, I really love this game. I love this game so much, I, this is like the third time I bought it. <laughs> I bought it on the Wii U, and it was like one of my favorite games on the Wii U. Then I bought it on the 3DS because I was like, oh, I want to play it again. And that was a terrible mistake. <laughs> Playing this game on the 3DS was n a big no-no. Like, that game was certainly no. Is this the one with the blue chicken? This is the one with Lana, if that's what you're talking about. The girl that summons the chicken. Let me see if I can find a, a slot with her. That way I could play her. I want to show you Lana. Let me see, let me see. Plus, it'll be a good warm-up. In fact, let me go to a, a panel that actually has something I could collect. That way, it's not pointless that I'm playing Battle Victory. Let me see. Is there no more Lana slots? There's Link slots. There's... Um... No, that one's a Lana, but I don't have it unlocked. So maybe I should do this one, but that's a Sheik slot. This one's a Ruto slot. I still need to find the item here. Alright, I'm trying to remember how to play this game. In fact, let me just collect the Skulltula here. Defeat the Forest Dragon. The blue chicken one is the one that I think you're talking about Link's Awakening. I'll play as Link. Everybody loves Link. I think Link is really, really cool in this game. <laughs> like honestly, like my this is one of my favorite portrayal of Link's because of all the different equipment he gets. And I think my favorite equipment is the gauntlet. And I'll show you why. Right? Um I'll just go with that.
<laughs> if you're listening to this and you're not looking to stream, yes, I am playing the ocarina. You enjoy it. All right. So this game is actually interesting because it plays like a Dynasty Warrior game. So it's like a beat em up game. And this is part of the reason Link, this, this Link is my favorite one, because his attacks in this game is really, really cool. So it's like he punches things, right? Because it's a power gauntlet, right? But he also like picks things up like this and throws it at enemies and spins it around. <laughs> like, and then like if you use a super attack, he literally takes the planet and spins it around. <laughs> Best Link iteration. Oh, where am I? All right. Oh, there's so many of them here. I need to, I gotta smash it. I gotta smash it. Or no, no, no. I gotta wreck it. <laughs> Honestly, um, they came out with a sequel for this game. It was, uh, the one on the 3D, or not the 3DS, the Switch. The, the one based off, um, Breath of the Wild, but I don't think it was as good as this, because this game actually did, um, the whole Dynasty Warrior game a lot better, because you get to, it's kind of like, um, you get to see all the old throwbacks. Like, you see Darunia, you see Ruto, and all that stuff. You see all kinds of cool throwbacks to, like, what made Zelda so good. Even the weapons itself is a throwback, like this ball and chain came from Twilight Princess and oh. the ball and chain came from Twilight Princess while the gauntlet, the power gauntlet is like seen in every Zelda game. And I think it's really, really cool because of that. Oh. Smash! I kind of want to play this game again. There's just way too much games in this world. All right, I got to break this fort. I already defeated 1,000 enemies? Okay. That was easy. No, I didn't mean to- <laughs> Okay. You do that, Link. Okay. Actually, what do I need to- I remember like the second Skultala in these missions. You needed to- what's it called? You needed to do a special requirement. Let me take a look. Um, Where was it? Was it Battlefield data? No, was it warrior information? Here we go, check skull to us. Complete the first mission and complete five or more enemy keeps without losing more than 40% of your health. Okay, that's easy. So I need to cast for more keeps and complete the first mission. The first mission is defeat all the commanders, okay. Okay, we'll just smash through. I also think this Link had a really cool voice compared to the other Links, which is funny when you think about it. Okay. That's another commander. Did I take the space? No, I didn't. Okay, so take this base. Two, three, four. No. One, two, three. There we go. No, that's that's right. This one. So how this game works? Just like um, yeah. There we go. That's the one I wanted to do. You press the button a certain amount of times to get out a certain combo. It's a lot of button mashing, but I think it looks. I think the button mashing is cool. Nice. Get this. Smashy smashy. Oh wait, four minutes. Has it been four minutes? Oh no. Okay, okay I, I gotta finish the first mission. I'm almost out of time. Oh. Alright. Did I beat her? Where did she go? I missed. I missed. All right, I got her though. All right, now to take some bases really quick. How many bases do I have? One, two, three. I need to catch. Get one more base, I think. All 
There he is. Let me see if I could. Let me see if I could finish this really quick. I remember this game was really, really frantic in the original. And that's because you only had so little time to do everything. Did I miss out? Wait, no. Complete the first mission. Okay, so it didn't. It wasn't four minutes. It was forty percent health. How did I get that mixed up? That was unga bunga brain. All right. I'm checking to make sure everything is working though. Stream looks good. Oh, um, I need a fairy here, don't I? There we go. Actually, how much health did I lose? Did I fail the mission already? Okay. I still need to just capture a couple more. Did I get it? Did I get the Skulltula? Did I? Ah! No. Maybe I had to take one more? Two, three, four. Kinda reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. It's pretty much like Kingdom Hearts. In fact, I think it'd be really interesting if they made a Musou game or a Dynasty Warrior game out of Kingdom Hearts. I think that would be really, really cool. Because like Kingdom Hearts really lends itself to it. In fact, if anything, it probably deserves a Dynasty Warrior game more than other games. Considering like how many enemies you attack at once. Do I still need to take some more bases? I think I do. I still didn't find a Skulltula. No, that's our base. Let me see. I'll take this last one, and if it if it doesn't show up, that means I failed the mission. And I'm just a failure in life. Ugh. Right? You may not hear it right now, but I am tapping this button as fast as I can. <laughs> I am button mashing my way through this game. Alright, did I get the skull to run out? South Square is about to fall. How many how many bases do I have actually? Let me see. Complete the first mission and capture five or more bases or enemy keeps. I think I need to capture this last one. That's what it's trying to tell me. Cause I think I captured all the enemy keeps except for the last one. Alright, so I just need to fight the boss. It's Zelda! And I think that was really cool in this game too, the fact that you, like everyone, um, in the adventure mode, everybody's a villain, in a way. So like, even though Zelda's supposedly the, a good person and a good character, like a good character, or a good guy, oh. Well, combo, combo, wombo combo. <laughs> that ain't Falco. I missed the opportunity. Oh no! Oh no! Stop it! Did I lose the 40%? Oh, I think I lost the 40%. I think it's over. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna finish this mission then. Might as well. <sighs> I'm still rusty in this game, that's for sure. I think the thing too with this game is like there wasn't only just small fights, there were also big fights in this game. Whoa. Like after I beat this, whoa, whoa, whoa! After I beat the Zelda here, you can get a bigger boss fight, which is really cool. All right, let me go see. If I remember correctly? Can I play the Ocarina here? I can. And it takes me nowhere. Thank you. But the problem with the second game was that they didn't do such a good job with, um... I don't know, they, they made the game well, and it plays well, but the coolness factor wasn't as good as this game. Even though there was a lot of cool weapons, like in the... 
in the sequel, you get like Link with his two-hand sword, and it's really cool because whenever you do attacks, you lose HP. But when you do like um, oh, do I, I forgot. Do I grab it? No, no, no. I didn't mean to do. <sighs> it was really, really cool and all, but it's just that. Oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, okay. Did I get it? Oh, I think I did. Nice. Ah, uh, didn't get it in time. So yeah, how boss fights work here, there's like a... You knock it over, like so. Okay. Like so. And once you knock it over... Oh, I'm almost dead. I have a... I do have a potion. Or drink it. No. <laughs> once you knock it over, you could do a weak point hit. Let me drink this potion. There we go. And you hit it in the head like that. Then you repeat the process. It's very simple and like nothing too complicated, but... Boy, does it look cool. And I think that's important in the game. All right? The cool factor is very important. If you don't have the cool factor, your game is, <laughs> your game is not that great. Oh no! Back up! Okay, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right. All right. And we hit it. There we go. Easy, finished. Man, I forgot how fun this game was. Like, I won't lie. I probably put hundreds and hundreds of hours in this game across the three different versions. Back before I was doing like drawing, uh, back before I was doing, uh, what's it called? Other stuff. Back before I was doing like, um, the comic and VTubing. <laughs> I used to play a lot of games. I was a, I was what they call a gamer. <laughs> I love this game. All right, let me go ahead and close that out. So it looks like my switch works. And I accidentally hit my mic once again. Looks like my streaming setup works. I'm going to switch it back to a loading screen. I'll bring it to my computer. So give me a second. Oh, let me stretch on over with my tiny little sheep arms. And let me go ahead and readjust my mic. So I'll be right back. In fact, let me put some music instead. There you go. Baby. And I was gonna try to do a PC game, but I realized that I probably need to make another setup for um, my PC games. So I gotta write that down. So let's see. What is this that I wrote down? So I have winking phase, clapping, gun, get a bot setup. But what is this? Graveyard. Oh, gravestone. That's a gravestone. Okay. Gravestone. Let me rewrite that. My, my proper handwriting. 
And then I'm gonna have to make a PC scene setup. That way I can switch between my computer with all with minimal hassle. Because I re realized that I have I probably have to hassle through it. Actually, now I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, technically I would have to hassle through a lot of PC games because it's not like my Switch where it's on a single source. So, let me see. Let me try this out. It's been a while since I played this game and I really like this game too. In her head. Did Ollie always have a sword in her head? Yes, she did. It's what hold it all together. It strikes right through a hair straight into her head. Okay. Let me try this out. So let me go ahead and go back to a loading screen. Okay. So hold on my friends, hold on my friends. I want to try PC gaming really quick to make sure my computer can handle it. It's the last thing I really want to test out for tonight to make sure that my computer is fully ready to handle, um, to handle streaming. So I did console games, I did drawing, I did music, or not music, but I had a uh, had all my setups work. The last thing I want to test out is playing PC games, because there are some PC games I do want to play on stream. Okay, let me go up here offline. I don't want you guys to see my friends because I have no friends. There you go. And this game that I'm going to be playing is a game actually I picked up recently. And I thought it was actually a lot of fun. Okay, let me go ahead and move things around. Oh, I think you can hear the game already. Okay, let me log in really quick. I don't want you to see my... <clears throat> my secrets okay, and let me go back to my gaming setup there you go oops you saw so you saw something you're not supposed to <laughs> I messed up close your eyes okay there we go much better so let me go add this scene. Uh, okay, that's not working. Let me see if I could get this game to capture well. Game capture. We'll call this. Um, okay. Specific window. Hopefully this works. There we go. Though it's above everything, so let me go move things around. So I'll have this ready next time beforehand. I just didn't have it ready now because... Like, I, I wanted to try out different games. Okay, let me move this over to the side. Alright. And let me move my microphone up. That way I can see the game. So. This, my friends, is Path of Exile, and um, I'm sure some of you guys heard about the Diablo fiasco, right? The Diablo Immortal. <clears throat> Best game ever, right? So this game is actually a game based off the Diablo series. When I was, uh, when I played, like, Diablo Immortal was the first Diablo game I played, right? And it was fun. I really, really enjoyed Diablo Immortal, but when I got to the part where the monetization and then the level caps and all that stuff, like, I got to the point where everything started becoming less fun. I was still itching to play a Diablo game, right? So, in the end, I played Diablo 2. Oh, wait, I better block chat. I don't want you guys to see their, their naughtiness. What can I put in there? Let me, let me go get a picture really quick. I'm realizing that I should block chat. Uh, let's put this. Thank you, Gun. You have come in handy. Oh no, there's sp spooky skeletons coming my way! <laughs> Alright. So, Path of Exile is like a Diablo-like game, basically, right? But that person's still trying to get past my chat. My filter. Okay, 
just a. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I a little a little scuff, but what is a VTuber without scuff? What is a VTuber without scuff? There you go. So basically, this is like a beat em up game, basically. So, like you can see, enemies are rushing me, I gotta kill them. Sort of like Diablo, right? So, as I was saying, when I was playing Diablo Immortal, oh, I'm getting some frame rate drops in this game, though. When I was, uh, when I was playing Diablo. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking this game might not run that well, especially when there's these many enemies. Oh, this is a lot of enemies, wait a second. Alright, alright. Um, what do I have ready? Potato PC, potato PC. Right. Actually, let me grab that. Yeah, my game is chugging. Humongous of chungus. I think it might be because I still have Clip Studio up, so. Next time I do this, maybe I'll do a stream of it only. Oh, I can't carry this. Well, hopefully the game looks good. How does it look, chat? Does it... Does it look okay? Can you see everything? It's abysmal, glass. Grab that. You see me popping ice? Consumes 15 on 40. Zero charge. Elemental resistance? That's actually pretty good. Just in case I come across elemental enemies. Good? Okay, good. Let's see, where was I going? So I'll just play this for a little bit. I just wanted to test it out. It looks like my computer's running well. Looks like stream's working. Looks like overlay's working. Okay. But yeah, so when Diablo Immortal dropped and I didn't like the game, I played Diablo 2. I liked it, but the thing was Diablo 2 I want to say felt very very old-fashioned not in the sense that like the game was no longer good but in the sense that like it felt like um i didn't want to get too deep into diablo 2 because there's some newer games that had some better quality of life content right diablo 3 was good in itself right i enjoyed diablo 3 but the problem with diablo 3 i didn't enjoy the end game as much i thought i would but i didn't like the whole thing with rifts and bounties and like having to start over every season, like I, don't, I guess the start over wasn't so bad, but the the rifts and bounty weren't as fun as I thought it would be. And I think this game is hitting all the right notes because technically I haven't hit end game, and for all I know, end game might be the same. Why am I glowing red? Oh, I'm angry. That's why. I'm a very angry person. In fact, my character is a barbarian, so he gets mad, just like me in real life. If only I had my mad face. I don't have my mad face. I, I didn't finish all my setup yet. Okay, where, where am I going in this dungeon? But it's a dungeon crawler. It's an action RPG. I smash things. I unga bunga. Unga bunga return to mace. Oh, there's a lot here. Get back out. But this game, I, I picked it up recently, and it's very good. Like, um, I picked it up after finishing Diablo 3, and I'm really enjoying it. I don't- I haven't had a chance to play it too much, but I'm really enjoying it. Definitely, um, a game I would like to come back to. Along with Final Fantasy XIV and all the other games I play. Gamer guys. I'm gonna pick those. Blow up! I think the cool thing about this game too is that can you can really, this. <laughs> really, you can uh, really form your character however way you want. My inventory's full. Can't get rid of soldier helmet. Forty-five, seventy-three. Let's see what is this? Kind of like the way this helmet looks, but has nothing good on it. Is this multiplayer? Yeah, there's other players. But the thing is, it's all instant, so in order for me to play with other players, I had to invite them to my party, then we could go out to the world. Sort of like Monster Hunter. Think like Monster Hunter. It's actually a really hard game though, because, like, let me show you something. 
So this game has a skill tree and it looks like this. <laughs> For those who played Final Fantasy X, it may look like the skill grid, but crazier because I started off here. So when I zoom out, yeah, I could literally turn my barbarian into a spellcaster. Not the best of ideas, right? It's not a good idea to turn your, your melee class into a spellcaster because oftentimes, you know, yeah. Yeah, whoa! That's what I said when I started this game too, like... And the thing is, each class starts di in a different area. Like, when I was playing as a Templar, I started off here. And I'm, I imagine a different character starts in the middle, but it's crazy complicated. You don't get enough points to actually um, fill this whole thing out. But it's actually really, really cool. Uh, I don't know how you get refunded points, but you can build your character however way you want. So like, I'm right here. I could choose two-handed mastery, I could do shield, or if I wanted to, I could go all the way over here to defiance, or I could pick up the skill destroyer, or I can go over here and pick up war cry mastery, which means I could cry really, really loud. You know, just like real life. Oh, Wait, wait. Where is it? Oh, I forgot to save it. Oh, where's my- I, d I don't have my applaud. I was gonna say applaud. But yeah. This is a very interesting game. I'll do a couple more kills and I'll come back to the computer. Okay. Let me check my stats. Looks like no data dropped. Out of curiosity, was there any buffering for the people in chat? Did I have any issue with um, slow clap? <laughs> Thank you, Kelpie. Did I have any issue with um, buffering? Like it was the was the stream slowing down? Did there was there frame rate drops? Like. Was there a loading screen? Did I have any instance of buffering? Like that. Smack. Smackity smack. Blow it up! Yeah! My character is really cool because he's a necromancer. So he's a part necromancer, part, um, what's it called? Barbarian. So I can actually blow up bodies. Everything was fine? That's great. Okay. That means I can stream whatever I want. Time to play Genshin Impact. Let me see. Get out of here. Stop. Go away. I'm looking at my items. Stop. Go. Stop it. Oh, one second. Sorry about that, there was a knock on the door. Okay, I'm back. So let me see. 222, 14 armor, let me drop that. I'm gonna replace it. As you can see, item management is crazy in this game. I have only so little inventory space to manage all this stuff. Let me see, plus eight strength, plus 23 energy. Oh, this is actually much better than the one I have now. But does it have the gem slots? Yeah, it does. I could put this here, put this here. Yeah, not only is the skill tree complicated, but everything else is complicated. So I have skill gems that I can slot into this, right? And they give me my skills. If I have no slot or gems, then I can't use any attacks. I don't need cast speed. So it, this game is crazy complicated, and I kind of like it for it. Let's throw this away. Put this in my inventory. Grab this. All right. But I'll stop here. I'm going to quit the game. I'm going to switch back to a loading screen, so I'll be right back, friends. go. Whew. I am tired. Let me go put some music back on. Mm -mm -mm. And this is the last setup I wanted to test. Making sure that you can hear me, hear music, picture looks good. I might add some more things to this overlay. I think the fun thing about this overlay though is I could add things as I see fit, right? So if I want to, good job, thank you. <laughs> thank you for staying the whole time, Kelpie. I could put this gun here, right? I could point it at chat. <laughs> I 
like this. Yeah, thank you. I even have like this one, right? You know, in case for those days that you're feeling a little tired. A little coffee. There we go. But this was definitely a couple weeks of setup. And this one's chill. Yeah. It was definitely a lot of work to get everything done. But after testing it all out and making sure everything works, I'm kind of I'm kind of happy that everything worked the way it was. And I'm glad it didn't crash at all. So, <laughs> coffee is nice, yeah. I'm gonna end my stream here. So I think this is gonna be kind of the first of many. I'm gonna try to put this as a VOD onto YouTube as well. Like if you go down to my about me, you can check my YouTube. The this video will show up there. You know, kind of like a record. I want to make sure I keep track of all my videos like everything I've done and yeah uh, I want to make sure that I have that set up uh, tomorrow I will try streaming on YouTube I kind of want to see what it's like so if you guys want to follow me on YouTube that'd be great too like um, check out my YouTube channel because I'm going to try streaming there I want to compare it I still haven't set it on Twitch but I do like how everything works and I'm glad everything is set up to work well um, in other news I think I'm going to start streaming more regularly. And when I say regularly, I mean as regularly as I can get. I won't be able to do daily streams. I'm just going to do this on the side. Like, follow and subscribe. Thank you, Kelpie. You know what? I'm going to give you mod, Kelpie. I should give you mod. I forgot. Technically, you're my, um... Since I do know you in real life. I almost hit the timeout button. <laughs> that was close. S since I do know you, Kelpie. Um, how do I mod you? Let me see. Hello? Am I back? Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> back. Thank you. Okay. So I think I disconnected there for a second. I, I was looking at my stats and it seemed like it dropped for a bit. My comments are faster? Oh, I think you needed a refresh stream then. That might have been an issue. <laughs> Look, you guys are there, right? Look, you guys can see yourself. And look, I can point a gun at you guys. You better start chatting. You better start donating. I got a gun. <laughs> Let's put this on top. Chat was shy. It's okay. I understand chatters. I too am shy. I like to lurk. There we go. So, like I was trying to say, um, I'll figure out this mod you, Kelpie. But... What I'm gonna do, uh, the last thing I wanna talk about is like, I wanna plan to reg stream regularly, which is why I got this setup. Ta da! No, that's my table. Let me put it back. <laughs> you didn't see that because that wasn't what I wanted to drag around. Let me try it again. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Okay. I just have to replace this every time then. Uh, nope, nope, that's not it, that's not it. Where the heck did it go? Huh? Did it? Huh? Oh! Oh, this is awkward. Okay, give me a second, I know what happened. I know what happened. Give me a second, give me a hot second, friends. Let me save this here. <clears throat> Alright. Yes, save over picture. Yes. Okay. So let me bring this back up. All right. So since I plan to start streaming a little bit more regularly, I got this ready. Ta-da! It's a streaming schedule, and looking at it, I think the tag phase is a little small, but don't worry about it, I'm gonna fix it before I post it on Twitter! <laughs> so as you can see, right, <laughs> I'm gonna start streaming at like a 7pm to 
and uh, 7 p.m. slash 10 p.m. EST, right? 7 p.m. PST, 10 p.m. EST time. Like that's probably like the only time I can stream. And you'll see that um, you'll notice that I won't be able to stream like every day, sadly. I want to stream as much as I can, but I do. I am a busy person. I, I color, I work, I draw, and I game. I game hard. I'm a gamer, <laughs> right? Oh, my mic is a little high. Let me turn it lower really quick. So yeah, I I uh, I plan to stream. Uh, like you can see already, I have three different streams planned out. The first stream is to finish things up. Time is a factor. I want to finish up this Ollie drawing, and if I do finish it up before then, I do want to finish other things up. Um, Saturday is gonna be my first kind of video that I want to try out. <laughs> it's gonna, it's called uh, "Let's Create Some New Friends So We Aren't Lonely." Um, I have an ad idea about it. It's gonna be really fun, and I hope you guys join me. And I want to, on Sunday, I want to try to play Minecraft again. It's been a while since I played Minecraft. I touched it up again recently, but after seeing like Hall Life and Ninji Sandy play it, it really, really made me want to play. Maybe I'll have friends, maybe I won't have friends, maybe I'll make a server, maybe I won't make a server, but we'll see. I want it to be the first of a Minecraft adventure. Hopefully I can play with other people. I kind of have plans to <clears throat> kill them one way or another, but this is what the schedule is going to look like. I'm going to post it actually after tomorrow's um, test stream because I want to test out on YouTube and Twitch before I decide which one I want to stream on. All right. But yeah. Other than that, <laughs> I feel like I can stack more things on my head. Do I have anything else? Do I have anything else I can stack? I have to, I'm gonna have to download some more stuff to stack on my head. But other than that, guys, um, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hmm, 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 what's that hmm for? Hmm? 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 Clap. <laughs> I don't have a applause set on this one, which I do need a set. I gotta remember to do that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope um, I hope you come back for another stream. Uh, I I want this to be the first of many, and I hope to continue to do more wackier things as time goes on. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like, follow, and subscribe. Ring that bell. Um, step on my toes. Um, pat my head. Eat a watermelon. Remember to stay hydrated. And yeah, I'm gonna wish you guys good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Poop.